better. Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia with a brand new episode today with a special. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, we have charged with 6.7 kilowatts only. That is a full charge. 6.8 kilowatt hours. Start live data. How often have I said start live data in this channel? And look at this, 98.9% .9 state of charge. The magic number again. So yeah, it's uh, it's my birthday and the, the family got me a Tesla. Yes, they really, the gate. There you go. The, the family got me a Tesla. I was, wow, that was, that was totally unexpected this morning when I opened my presents. There was a voucher in there for a Tesla. They actually rented a Tesla for me for one day, a Tesla Model S, and we all will be, we all will be going, so we all will be going to the Sunshine Coast shortly after Christmas and uh, drive the Tesla Model S over there for one day for one that was a surprise a very I'm so looking forward I'm so excited about this really I it was unexpected and I'm really that's really good that's really good and the whole family is coming and it will be an exciting day I'm I'm pumped really I'm pumped and I also got a 50 year old timer certificate from my auntie and uncle from my hometown in Germany they sent one through via email I've uh, printed it already you can read it and uh, it's a, it's in German so it's not yeah if you don't um, yeah it's it's a certificate so um, I'm so this is to certify that I'm an old timer now <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what to expect at works. Probably they have done some decoration stuff or something. I don't know. I sometimes there's weird, weird things going on when someone has birthday, and I don't know. Maybe there's nothing. <laughs> I don't know. But I expect they have done something. I'll take you with me. I tell you, I'm very excited about this present to have a Tesla for a day at the Sunshine Coast. It's a, such a beautiful location over there and of course I will make a video about this day. Maybe even two or three, I don't know. I will film a lot. We will have all the cameras with us and we will, we will film a lot. An exciting day, a beautiful location. It will be shortly after Christmas. The sun will shine, Sunshine Coast. The beaches will be perfect. It will be a fantastic day. So thank you so much to my lovely wife Silke to my sons Christoph, Lucas and Stefan for chipping in with this awesome present. I'm really pumped. Hey guys, these awesome parking skills are not made by me. There were two other cars actually parking next to me when I drove in here and they were parking at an angle. So I had no other choice to park like this. You, you know exactly that's not how I park usually. And I've got two witnesses, they can witness there were cars in there before, which um, parked on the same angle. I, I blew this out. So I've just uh, decided to plug in the car because yeah, we went for a lunch, birthday and Christmas lunch, and the battery is a little bit down now, so I've got only 10, 9, 10 kilometers left. Yep, club is open, so I plug in over here and fully charge until 4 o'clock until I go home, and then we don't need to use any fuel. I guess this is the purpose of this car, to drive as much on electric as possible. That's what I'm doing. Okay, let's plug in. The good old granny charger. Guys, I need to talk to you about oh, the dog. Worse than Gary. If I 
get the dog. Rule number one, always have the dog running, always. You find things you probably don't want to find. Start live data. Okay, so the car should be fully charged now. Anyway, I love this V-Gate iCar Pro 4.0 Bluetooth adapter. Since then, I've never had any problems with any connection at all. It always connects, always, anytime, anywhere. 104.1% instead of charge. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, we've got 33 degrees in the battery already. Um, that's not the thing I want to talk about. I found something. I had a look, you know, talk, talking about having the dog running all the time. I have collected big smoke coming out of this car disgusting okay guys this is in terms of battery degradation again as you know I always run the dog when I'm driving oh, that's just just a habit now and as you can imagine I have collected a huge amount of data now I've got literally hundreds hundreds and hundreds of trip cards for all my trips everything is recorded everything is captured so this huge amount of data I did some I analyzed this data a little bit especially the state of health and I found I found really weird things you would imagine as we all know lithium-ion batteries degrade over time so even if you don't use the battery at all in 10 years time it will degrade due to the chemical processes inside the battery. It will also degrade depending on temperature, depending on usage, on depth of discharge, DOD. The more you use the battery, the faster it will degrade. But what I accidentally found, that is just, I couldn't believe it, is a pattern in degradation which is not reliant on time not reliant on kilometers and apparently not reliant on temperature I found a really weird pattern which I cannot explain at all something is not right and what I found is actually supporting my theory that this is all caused or that most of the degradation the dog shows us is caused by software it has nothing to do with the natural degradation of lithium-ion batteries what we are seeing in our cars here this degradation speed is far too fast the batteries are degrading far too much for the age and for the usage please don't forget the we are constantly charging and discharging the batteries but this is only up to 70% so we are only using maximum of 70% of the battery this is from 25% to 95% we never charge to 100% we never charge below 25% not for a long period of time this is only for minutes until the engine kicks in and recharge the battery so it's not like we are leaving the battery in a state which is dangerous for the battery and still blinker and still the the battery degrades a lot faster than in any other vehicle i have seen so far even if you have if you have a look at the older nissan leaves which have a smaller 24 kilo battery they don't degrade that fast than the PHEV batteries and these cars get hammered and smashed in terms of battery usage all the time blinker from a pure battery perspective from the you from the pure degradation which happens in the battery it does not make sense what we are seeing in the PHEVs now it I'm more than convinced now I was a little bit hesitating about this but I think I'm very convinced convinced now that this is a software issue so what what we are seeing after 15,000 kilometers and people have 10% capacity loss 
this is not normal this is not what the PHEV battery should show as I said we are using only 50 uh, we are using only 70% of the battery's capacity the battery is being cooled if it gets too hot the battery is also not being discharged or charged on a very high rate I know I made these videos about the 1C situation with it and as someone stated in the comments um, on these videos it's not like we are constantly charging or discharging the battery with over 1C it is only for a very short period of time when we accelerate when we regen hard on B5 it is not for a long period of time so this should not make a big difference in terms of battery life and battery degradation at all most of the time we are using moderate to low currents in and out of this battery so if we put all the figures together it does not seem like we are overly torturing the battery we are overly abusing 70 percent depth of discharge is not overly heavy on the battery so in theory if you put all the figures together it should last a lot longer than what we actually see at the moment hey guys look at this part two of my birthday present two homemade pizzas